Okay, guys, I'm going over the Samsung Health app again. This time, just a little bit of a different part. So this is what it looks like when you get into the Samsung Health app. Then I'm scrolling down a little bit, and what I'm going to do is go over the heart rate, stress, and oxygen saturation. Now, these are all pretty similar once you click into them, but we'll go into that and kind of show how it works. So you push heart rate, which I feel like is what people will use the most. Um, and then uh, there's a few things you can do. On the top right, you can do a quick measurement so you can set it up on your phone. So if you're holding it a certain way and then you put, bring your phone down, you can measure um, your heart rate. Um, but I'm not going to enable that. Then you can also export your data. So I'll kind of show you guys how that looks. So you can push export data. You can put the last two weeks, last month, last two months, three months is the longest it goes. And then you can get rid of that or export that in an Excel file, PDF or this um, HTML file, and then you just hit OK, and then you'd basically share it to somebody. I'd assume this is something you'd mostly use, either share it to yourself via email or send to a doctor. Now, what that looks like is you're going to get a little spreadsheet like this that's going to tell you the time or the day that you um, did the reading, the time of day that you did the reading, um, the, your heart rate, your beats per minute when you did that reading, and then what you were doing during the reading, so resting, um, general activity and then you could put notes on that if you wanted to but basically right away here and yeah that's about it for everything up there otherwise there's accessories which just gives you options for watches that could do this basically as well but um you can hit measurement then at the bottom so you're going to push that button then you see on the back of your phone if i put my finger there's a little red sensor i put my finger over that and it starts recording so then you're supposed to sit still, you don't want to cross your legs or anything like that. And you can hold your phone upside down. And it starts, basically what my phone is doing is vibrating every time it takes a reading. I'm supposed to be quiet for this. So then it starts reading. Then it tells you what your heart rate is at the moment. Um, I have been just resting, so I picked that. You can hit pick all these other options on the bottom. Are you excited, surprised, sad, angry, um, fearless? Maybe excited because I'm doing a video. Maybe that's why it's high. Um, then you can put notes under it. Um, so making YouTube video. And you can hit save. And then again, if you export that, you're going to get that information um, in your notes later on, which I really like the feature of being able to do that. And you can put the little icon in the top corner and it's going to tell you healthy heart rates or healthy um, beats per minute and based on your age it's highlighting what would be best for me so that's 61 to 76 and generally that's where i'm at a little bit higher now it's probably because i was talking and stuff when i got started with the test but again as soon as i got quiet it started actually reading so that's one thing to note that you do want to do that and again just to the left for my samsung 9 plus or galaxy 9 plus the um, sensor is just to the, um, so be the right of the camera to put your finger on that. And then you can also go over to trends. And that's just going to show you over time basically what your heart rates have been by being able to swipe through the days. And obviously I haven't done this in quite a while. Go to months, then that might be more accurate. Nope, so not going to let me go back that far. But yeah, so if you do this more often, you're obviously going to get better data and it's going to be more accurate. I hardly ever use this right now, but I just wanted to go over how it works with you guys because I have used it before. And then you go down to stress. Again, stress is set up um, pretty much the same way. So it's going to tell you green is good, low stress, red is high stress. Um, so you can hit our actions up in the corner. Multi measures. It's just going to give you options to measure some more stuff. We go over to trends. It's going to be the same thing. You can swipe to your trends and see what you've gotten in the past for readings. And then, hold on, this does give you a little bit more information. Um, it'll tell you, basically, this was my last reading that you're seeing um, at the bottom here with the smiley face. If I push that, it goes to the screen and it tells me I was happy when I did it. And some information, and you can also delete that if you wanted to. But why not just go over um, a stress measurement? So you can hit measure, and again, it's just the right of the camera module. I'll hold that, and I'll just be quiet for a little bit. Uh, and it might not go. Place finger on sensor correctly. 
Oh, whoops. Let's get out of that. Go back. Alright, so that's that reading. Obviously my stress level is quite a bit higher than the average. Yeah, it's probably just stop talking in front of a camera making a video. But uh, I'd say I'm pretty happy right now. You can put sad, tired, sick, angry, how you're feeling at the moment. And maybe excited again. And add a few notes if you'd want to under that. You can save that and then again you can see that spreadsheet later on. Um, if you wanted to send that to yourself over time. Uh, then I think I showed you guys the trends already, and then we can go back. There's one more thing, the oxygen saturation, which again, all these um, different pages have a little icon in the top right, or just under the trends button. You hit that little icon, it's going to tell you why you would take this reading, so like oxygen saturation. Like, for example, if you're working out, you guys can pause this for a second and look at this. But if you're working out, and you want to make sure you're getting enough oxygen to your muscles, which is obviously very important, you can take a look at this and make sure that you're getting kind of optimal oxygen to your muscle, make sure you're breathing properly. Um, and then you can go to trends with this as well and see what you've done in the past versus what you're doing right now. So like in the past, you want to be between 95 and 100, it says. I was right there. And at that last reading, um, I was at 94. So that's the minimum, which is where you obviously don't want to be. So let me just take that measurement and show you guys that. Again, I need to sit quiet for a second. You guys do see, it can take a second to read, but reading this, I'm in 97%, so right in a good range. Um, and then you can pick your exercise level if you're tired or unwell. Um, I'd say mine is based on these options, just general. And you could hit a note again and put that on there, and then just it'll save that. And then you can measure. I spelled YouTube wrong, but that's right. And then you have basically all that information for you. So. I say this is kind of nice. It is way better to get a watch, but if you don't want to put out the money for a watch, you can do a, a reading once a day or kind of see where you're at or see what your resting heart rate is versus what you're doing during a workout. Especially this with this oxygen um, um, saturation might help for you, help you during workouts. Make sure you're breathing properly and you're not holding your breath too much during workouts, getting the best possible workout. So yeah, this has been this video. I also have another video on the Samsung food or the meal tracking. I'd love you guys to check that out. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Carter Pro out.